you guys, I just finished putting together my new laser, the Longer B1 30 watts laser engraver. And this is not a review. This is just, uh, I want to show you how I set up my laser and light burn to frame accurately every single time. Now, I have not tested this laser. I have not even made one single cut. I just literally put it together and connected to light burn. And uh, now I'm about to go into the setting and set my settings so I can accurately frame my work. And I'll be making my first cut ever with this laser. And I figure, why not share with you? I apologize for the voiceover, but it was too loud in the shop. You have to go to edit, then go to device settings. And we have to turn off on this enable laser fire button. Click OK. And then in order for this to see it, you have to restart light burn. So that's what I'm doing right here. I am turning off light burn and then I am going to restart it. Now for the demonstration, I'm just going to draw a circle that we will be cutting. So I'll be going to my cut layers and change from fill to line because we will be cutting this. And I'll also put in uh, my settings for the cutting for this material. I need to have speed at 750 and power of 80. This is just some thin three millimeter plywood. Click OK. And uh, now we have to go into our move tool. If you do not see move tool, you can go into your windows and make sure the move is clicked. And now we need to increase the power over here to 0.25 for the 30 watt laser. For my 10 watt laser, I had to put it at 2% in order to see the laser. If I click on the fire button, it turns the laser on. When I click it off, you don't see the laser again. Click on fire and you see the laser on. You see the little dot in the middle of the screen there? That is my, my uh, laser uh, turned on. Now, if I click frame by itself, you, we will not see the laser. We do not know exactly where our engraving. I'm going to click frame again. As you can see, you do not see the laser. Now, if you hold down shift and then click on frame, we will frame with the laser on. But that small power that we set up, the 0 0.25 shift and frame, and that will um, frame with the laser on. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut that little circle. And this will be my first cut with this machine. So just click on start and laser is going. Now I know exactly where the laser is going because we framed it with the laser on and I saw where the laser was pointing and you can work on very small uh, projects and frame it perfectly. As you can see, very clean cut, lots of smoke. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area. And this is how you frame with accuracy using your laser engraver and light burn. And that was pretty much for today. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Like I said, I will be taking this laser and test it in all kinds of situations. We'll do a few projects and I'll have a full review in the next few weeks. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.